Another big week in battleground Georgia. Former President Trump made two stops in Metro Atlanta on Tuesday. Vice President Kamala Harris returning this weekend. And as we get closer to Election Day, we are so happy to be joined by Kristen Welker, moderator of NBC's Meet the Press. So, Kristen, we do know that you'll have some new battleground polls this Sunday. But what is left for both Democrats and Republicans to do to convince voters? Well, Faith, it's great to be with you. We are getting into closing arguments time. And one of the big questions on voters' minds, including in Georgia, is who is going to be the change candidate? In our NBC polling a month ago, Vice President Kamala Harris had a nine-point lead. That dropped to five points. So part of what you're seeing from the vice president, she's engaging in more interviews and she's slowly distancing herself just a tiny bit from President Biden. Will that have an impact? We'll have to wait and see. We know she is bringing out the heavyweights to help her with her closing arguments. We're told that she's going to be joined on the campaign trail in Detroit by Lizzo. She'll be joined when she heads next to Georgia by Usher. For his part, former President Trump also tried trying to cast himself as the change candidate, but I can tell you some of his allies say that the challenge for him is really staying on message. They are concerned that he gets distracted by conspiracy theories, by talking about the last election, that he struggled to find his footing on the issue of abortion. If you look at all of the polls, they tell the tale of this race. It is a very competitive, very close race. And Kristen, we saw both former President Trump and Vice President Harris make some interesting comments this week. The former president saying nothing was done wrong on January 6th. Well, as you mentioned earlier, the vice president said she will not be a continuation of President Biden. So, Kristen, do comments like this get any traction at this point so close to the election? Well, I, the comments by former President Trump on January 6th have gotten a lot of attention with the vice president accusing him of trying to gaslight the American people by painting it as a day that was rosy and that there were no issues, when of course that is not the case. We know that people lost their lives on that day. And so on the part of uh, Vice President Kamala Harris saying that she's not going to be a continuation of President Biden's presidency, look, some of her allies are saying she's got to give more details about what specifically that means. I just got off the phone with a top source, though, Faith, who said to me, look, don't expect her to do that. She is very loyal to the president. Don't expect her to necessarily roll out some new policy proposal that's going to significantly break with her boss. Faith. Meet the Press airs Sunday morning at 10, followed by the Georgia vote. You can catch that right here on 11 Alive. And it's a big Georgia vote show coming up Sunday morning. We examine the state of the presidential race, the latest on early voting, and we go one on one with the chair of the Georgia Republican Party. Zach Burchin and I will see you at 11 on the Georgia vote.